Top 10 toxic Meghan Markle traits Prince Harry should have seen. With number 10, short temper. Meghan and Harry's whirlwind romance has been in the spotlight pretty much since they got together with fans and haters watching their every move. This couple is used to getting lots of attention whether they like it or not. When Harry got with Meg, people started watching Meghan like a hawk dissecting her every move. Naturally, when you're part of the royals, people are gonna be more inclined to know what you're like. As someone part of the royal family, displaying strong emotions is not necessarily expected, especially in a public setting. After being invited as a guest speaker at the Power of Women charity benefit, Meghan seemed irritated after pictures of her were published where she was seen lashing out at an employee in the parking garage. The pictures published in the Daily Mail show her looking pretty ticked off while pointing directly at someone. Some believe she was scolding one of her employees while others say she was letting a parking attendant have it. As a person, I feel like keeping your cool in inconvenient situations is pretty important, but as a royal, I think Meghan should have been more mindful of her position and the amount of eyes on her. But hey, there's always more to a story, right? And it's hard to figure out with pictures out of context. Number nine, complaining. During the royal tours, the smiles and nice photos covered up the behind the scenes of the royal tour, which was apparently a nightmare. This tour is an amazing time to empower others and, and be a good role model as a royal. It's tradition and is keen for the royal family to build good relations and also good publicity. Only issue is Meghan didn't see the importance in that and has been quoted on multiple occasions by staff for saying, I can't believe I'm not getting paid for this. Meghan, you got to travel the world and be treated royally. Is that not enough? I get time is money, but if you're doing it for the man you love, wouldn't you just want to do it for him and his family instead of for personal gain? On to number eight, abrasive. Meghan was accused of abrasive behavior towards staff members and diplomats, according to an explosive royal biography. Looking back at the Sussexes' visit to Australia where they received an amazing reception, Tom Bauer writes, Meghan was allegedly abrasive towards her four female staff and even towards the local British diplomats. According to one report, Meghan allegedly threw a cup of tea into the air. Not the tea. He continued by saying that her anger may have been partly fueled by Harry. Every morning he and Meghan turn on their phones to surf the internet, searching for snide comments. That doesn't sound very healthy to me. Australia has covered in past videos, didn't seem to be as fun as the couple may have hoped, and it's been reported they were feeling down in the down under. Good one, right? On to number seven, dad drama. Similar to Harry, Meghan too has some daddy issues. Meghan has been part of quite a few scandals within her family, and if you've been keeping up with her, you would know how deep the drama runs. Meghan Markle had written a private letter to her dad pleading with him to stop cooperating with the press. In it, Meghan said she felt absolutely blindsided by the pain her father was puppeteered into creating by the media. She said that the lies her father was spreading about her with the help of the media have broken broken her heart into a million pieces and claimed that she'd only ever wanted to help him financially, medically, or even with the harassment he claimed to her that he was experiencing no thanks to the paparazzi. At the end of the letter, Meghan begs Thomas to stop lying, exploiting her relationship with Harry, and stop taking the bait from the press, but he did the exact opposite. Thomas sold the letter to the Mail on Sunday and the site published it for the world to see even more Markle family secrets. The Duchess later sued Associated Newspapers Limited, owners of the site for breach of privacy and won. Meghan had a reasonable expectation of privacy and the site was fanciful for, to think otherwise. Number six, sister drama. And that isn't the only member of Meghan's family who has been problematic. Her sister Samantha admitted she was being paid for press. I'll let her words speak for herself in this one. I worked in media most of my life and in broadcasting, so because my sister is suddenly royal isn't grounds for me to stop doing all of that. Let's face it, we all have to survive. Money makes the world go round, so if you want to call that cashing in, that's fine. But I think no one in the media would refuse a paycheck for talking about the royals. As a family, we're not subject to royal protocol. Why would I stop living because we have a family issue going on? Considering the two sisters have never had the greatest relationship, I'm not surprised that she has no problem throwing Meghan under the bus, but I just feel like she could have had more class rather than making these desperate attempts to cash in. Again, not the first time Sam decided to do something newsworthy. One time Samantha parked herself outside of Buckingham Palace. 
When interviews across the Atlantic just wouldn't do it, Sam made the trip across the pond and showed up at Buckingham Palace in the hopes of reconnecting with Meghan. Funny since Meghan and Harry actually lived a few miles down the road at Kensington Palace. Number five, dishing friends for royal status. Is Meghan dishing her friends for royal status? A former friend and colleague who said Meghan ghosted her was Gina Nelthorpe Crown, who found the future Duchess to be hugely charismatic when they first met in 2014. Gina said she last heard from Meghan when the future Duchess told her she was giving up her career and terminating their contract. Meghan likes to move on, Nelthorpe Crown told the Daily Mail. Ouch. Megan felt no type of way about letting go of her former friends. It seems as if a couple people have claimed that she cut them off as soon as she and Harry became serious. I wonder how Harry feels about this. But at the same time, if Megan knew these people would share her business, then it would only be safer and easier for her to keep her distance from them. Clearly, they're still talking about her and airing out her past even though she doesn't talk about them or to them anymore. Did the Duchess make the right decision? Let me know in the comments. Number four, not on good terms with the in-laws. When news of Harry and Meghan's move out of Kensington to Palace to strike out on their own first broke in November of 2018, the public and the press came to a unanimous conclusion as to why that would be. Meghan. Everyone pointed the fingers at the new royal, suggesting her alleged difficult Duchess attitude was not just reserved for the staff and had caused a feud between her and Kate. Obviously, all that turned out to be untrue. The Sussexes were expecting a baby and wanted more space than a two-bedroom apartment they lived in at Kensington. But Meghan and Kate have always had problems. It came out in November that there was a ton of tension between the royals. As Kate and Meghan were not getting along. This meant that Prince Harry and William were not also getting along. And the whole family wasn't seeing eye to eye. This was super hard on everyone, especially the late Queen. Queen Elizabeth was actually so fed up with the drama, she made Kate and Meghan sit down and sort it out. On to number three, doing what she wants. It seems like Meghan was trying to make a point by going to vote, even the royals are forbidden to do so. After she posted a picture of her wearing a sticker indicating that she had gone to vote, it was not well received in the UK. And even though she is no longer an official member of the royal family, she is not permitted to abide by those laws, but it's definitely savage of her to do this knowingly since she is married into the family. Many others were not surprised at this act because she has been known to be an activist and stands firmly in everything she believes in, so for her to continue being the same way and not conforming to the laws of a country she wasn't even born in isn't the worst thing in the world. But what do you think? Did Meg take it too far by publicizing her choice to vote? Number two, mistreating staff. The Times reported accusations that Meghan mistreated her palace aides and staff prior to the 2020 exit. While Meghan denied the allegations, noting in a statement to us in March 2021 that she was saddened by the latest attack on her character, the palace re revealed they were investigating the claims. We are clearly very concerned about allegations in the Times following claims made by former staff of the Duke and Duchess. Accordingly, our HR team will look into the circumstances outlined in the article and to conclude, the statement read, the palace does not tolerate bullying or harassment in the workplace. According to an insider, the couple's inner circle believes that Buckingham Palace's statement was a direct response to the upcoming interview with Oprah. But what are your thoughts? Do you think they were being genuine about their efforts or trying to get the two to not reveal anything too problematic going on in the household? And finally, number one, warning for the media outlets. A lot of observers are assuming that Harry and Meghan have something to hide by fighting so hard against the media and filing lawsuits as often as they do. They suggest that Meghan and Harry are attempting to alert the media in advance that they are willing to face legal action in the event that a significant story emerges. What do you think? Is there something this couple is actively trying not to have outlets expose of them? Or are they simply annoyed with the media and aren't shy to set boundaries around what stories they think should or shouldn't be shared? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more juicy royal updates and news on your favorite celebrities.